In a previous video, I detailed how changing the configuration of your router's antennas can greatly improve your Wi-Fi signal in certain directions. Due to advancements in router technology, however, it was time for an update. Namely, I'm talking about the capability of beamforming. Beamforming is a technology that you'll see in almost all new routers today, and it changes the game for how you align your router's antennas if your router utilizes beamforming. In this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to be detailing how you should be aligning your router's antennas if your router has beamforming capabilities. In order to explain the difference between a beamforming router and a non-beamforming router, I came up with an analogy to help you understand. And the analogy I came up with, let's pretend we're putting on a play. We'll have actors on the stage, and we'll need to make sure that the spotlights are on the actors to ensure the audience can see them. The first part of this analogy is for a non-beamforming router. As you'll recall from my previous video, we had to manually steer the Wi-Fi signals of the non-beamforming router. In this case, we have to manually steer the lights as they light up the stage. We have three different flashlights here. They all have different rays of light and they all cover different parts of the stage. The strategy here is to ensure that no matter where an actor is, they're covered by one of these rays of light. So let's walk through this now. Let's say we have an actor on the left side of the stage. They're covered by one of our flashlights. If the actor moves to the center of the stage, again, they're covered by a different one of our flashlights. If the actor moves to the right side of the stage, they're still illuminated by that third and final flashlight. What's important to note here is that these flashlights at the top of the screen here, they're all stationary. They do not move once you set them in a position. The trouble, of course, with this instance is that what if we have an actor move in between two of the rays? As you can see here, the actor isn't totally illuminated. There might be some illumination, but for the most part, they're in a blind spot. This is exactly the case with non-beamforming routers. You can do your best to align your routers so that your Wi-Fi signal covers most of your home, but chances are there are still likely blind spots. Now let's see what things look like with a beamforming router. With a beamforming router, instead of having three individual flashlights, what we have is one of these automatic spotlights. These automatic spotlights will follow the actors no matter where they are on the stage. So let's see. If the actor's on the left-hand side of the stage, they're illuminated. If they're in the center of the stage, they're illuminated. The spotlight moves along with the actor and ensures that the actor is illuminated. The same thing here with the right side of the stage. But how about where we had problems before, where the actor was in between those two locations with the non-beamforming router? Well, in this case, no problem. The spotlight follows the actor the whole way automatically, so there's nothing you have to worry about in terms of this actor being illuminated. The important takeaway here is with beamforming technology, your router identifies where devices are that they're communicating with, and they ensure that a strong Wi-Fi signal is sent in the direction of your devices. I'll go into the specific benefits of beamforming in another video, but all you need to know here is specifically with your Wi-Fi signal, with a beamforming router, it automatically adjusts its Wi-Fi signal to ensure all your devices get a good Wi-Fi signal strength. Okay, so now we have a good understanding of what beamforming does, but the question is, what does this mean for your router's antennas? How should they be aligned if your router has beamforming? To be honest with you, it couldn't be any easier. With a router that utilizes beamforming, you're instructed to keep your antennas straight up and down. The reason for this is that your router does some background calculations about where devices are located, and having your antennas straight up and down make these calculations a lot more straightforward. As an example, here's a TP-Link Archer AX10 router. In the quick start installation guide for this router, you're instructed to keep the antennas straight up and down. The reason for this is because the router utilizes beamforming and it wants to make it as easy as possible to identify where the devices are that are communicating with your router. An interesting follow-up question here, 
is why does this Archer AX10 router have adjustable antennas if the antennas are only meant to be straight up and down? Well, the best answers I can think of here is that number one, you can fold these antennas down. It makes it a lot easier to ship the device. But secondly, what if you want to mount this router on the wall like this? You need to be able to position the antennas straight up and down to make it as easy as possible to make those beamforming calculations to determine where devices are that are communicating with your router. The last question here, and it's a good one, is how do you determine if your router utilizes beamforming? A good rule of thumb here is that if you bought your router in the last few years, chances are it utilizes beamforming. If you have a Wi-Fi 6 router and above, chances are it utilizes beamforming. Wi-Fi 5, that's what my previous router was. It was an Archer A7. That's the router that I explained in my previous video. That was a Wi-Fi 5 router. That one did not utilize beamforming. If you wanna be extra sure, the easiest thing you can do, look up your router's make and model online, look at the technical specifications, and I assure you it will be front and center in the marketing material. It'll say that the router utilizes beamforming to maximize Wi-Fi signals. That's exactly the case with this Archer AX10 router, and I'm sure you'll see the same thing if you have a Wi-Fi 6 or any other router that utilizes beamforming. If you have any questions about this or you're still unsure about how to align your router's antennas, please drop a comment below. If you found this follow-up video useful, please give it a like. That will ensure that other people that have routers that utilize beamforming can take advantage of this useful information. And lastly, if you like the content that I present on my channel, I invite you to subscribe. There'll be plenty more content coming down the line that will be just as useful for you. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.